So, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Josef Mlich and I work in Brno and I live in Kuzim. Uh, and I'm one of two and a half developers of Nemo Mobile. Uh, this talk uh, topic is uh, the question. The question is if the Nemo Mobile is suitable for automotive. So, first of all, who are, is, is, are here some, some automotive professionals? Okay, so I, I apologize. <laughs> you, you will see why. <laughs> uh, it's not really professional uh, or for professional use probably, or maybe we will see. Let's try to answer the question. Uh, to answer that question, we have to look uh, what is actually in a mobile? Uh, I will go through current status of the project. I will uh, tell a little bit about its architecture. And I have some automotive demo also. And yeah, I have a few details about, about the project. Uh, you can hear mobile in the name of the project. And uh, it can tell you that we are focusing on the mobile phones. So we would like to have mobile phone with own Linux distribution uh, to make phone calls, uh, etc. Currently, we are developing that on PinePhone. Uh, I have one device here, so please try it, play with that. There are no sensitive data, so you can do whatever you want. If it crashes, then it crashes. If you don't return it to me, you have to develop it instead of me. <laughs> so be careful. Uh, you can try to run it also on uh, PinePhone Pro. I have proof of concept on QTPI tablet. Uh, well, I have image, it was running, but right now I don't have device. I'm using it in my KVM virtual machine. Uh, you can find uh, in ARM profiles repository list of devices and which are supported so you can try other device. Uh, some people was trying to run those uh, this distribution on uh, uh, Android devices or they are using Helium layer, which allows to run uh, distribution with uh, with an Android device. So it was uh, yeah on on the, on the picture you can see the Volafone. So that's the code name is Brazil. Uh, I seen some some Xiaomi, Redmi uh, devices and others. Uh, if you are interested, you may try your own device, but it's more, more work to do. Uh, so the, the operating system looks like this. Uh, it's uh, basically uh, open source rework of, of uh, Sailfish OS UI. So we have three screens, one with notification, one with, with task list, and one is, is app launcher. Uh, so we have some UI. We are using Mallet keyboard uh, to be able to write something. Um, that it's great that you can you can connect to Wi-Fi and uh, <laughs> debug it not not only with serial, serial cable but also with Wi-Fi uh, or, or true Wi-Fi. Uh, USB net networking also works quite good. Uh, we can control the phone using buttons, so you can turn it off, you can uh, change volume. Uh, of course, as geeks, we need terminal. <laughs> and uh, wired terminal, you can install applications using Pac-Man. You, you can see Pac-Man, it means uh, we are using distribution based on Arc Linux, uh, namely Manjaro. Manjaro provides to us many packages as kernel, Auto tools, CMake, GCC, and others. Uh, with Nemo Mobile, uh, we are extending that uh, with 
roughly 150 packages, uh, roughly 70% are taken from Mer project. If you don't know Mer project, it's me go resurrect it. Um, it is part of, of stack which is used in Selfish OS uh, and uh, Yola is maintaining big part of those libraries, which is great. Uh, yeah, you can see some examples of those libraries. Uh, we have own fork of Ofono. Uh, uh, so as you can see, we, we are not using uh, network manager uh, and modem manager. We are using Conman instead of network manager. We are using Ofono instead of modem manager. Uh, Yes, again, some, some examples of applications. So this is settings, application, and, and browser. Uh, if you know Sailfish OS, uh, then, then you know that Sailfish OS is using Qt 5.6, which is, I would say, ancient. Uh, one of reasons to move to Manjaro was to use up-to-date Qt. Uh, so currently we are using Qt 5.15. Uh, we have own Qt quick controls. Those Qt quick controls are based on Qt quick controls 1, which are incompatible with Qt, Qt 6. We are working on, on port for Qt 6 right now. Uh, it is a lot of work. Uh, and we are moving slowly because it's like weekend project. We, it's not our day job, so so uh, it's really slow. Uh, we are pushing back uh, patches to to Selfish OS to Yola, and they are merging it mostly. Uh, we are using some some uh, middleware or like wrappers around other libraries uh, which, are, which are named Nemo QML plugin, which is basically interface into QML to use other things like uh, 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 time the daemon, which, which can provide uh, wake-ups and so on. Uh, we have own UI uh, application, we call that Glacier. Uh, and yeah, those, those are examples of <coughs> user exper experience you can have. Uh, like 80% of, of screens you can see on the device. Uh, okay, that was, that was Nemo itself. And now let's try to answer the question. It is ready for automotive? Uh, no, <laughs> is this that, that short answer? Uh, I was on FOSDEM this year uh, and there were some stand with automotive demo and they told me, if you expect that you will get that device and put it into car, uh, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't expect that. It, it's platform, it's 80% ready. So I said, I told to myself, okay, now we are speaking about percentage of matching of some expectations. So let's try to do that with Nemo. So I, I think we have at least few percent <laughs> of, of match with automotive expect, uh, expectations. So uh, I have found some paper from uh, uh, Walmart, Anders and uh, Wikingson and uh, they have this picture of, of architecture. And if you look carefully, I know the letters are small, you can see, okay, home screen. We have home screen, so one point for us. Uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Okay, we can connect to Bluetooth, we can connect to Wi-Fi. Wow, not so much. Uh, AM, FM tuner, okay, we don't have that. Uh, actually, behind, uh, behind the, the whole stack in Nemo for, for telephony. It's actually necessary to work with uh, 
audio profiles because when you want to make phone call on mobile phone you need to switch profile uh, when you receiving phone call you have to switch the profile back after the phone call is over uh, you need to support uh, Bluetooth headsets and so on so we have quite a lot of packages which are um, managing those audio profiles so I expect we can be close to that requirement uh, we have some media browser telephony contacts navigation sort of <laughs> uh, I don't know why social ma media apps are mentioned twice <laughs> uh, maybe more social media is better <laughs> uh, but we don't have them and the email application doesn't work quite well right now so I would say we don't have it so far uh, yeah we can go deeper in the stack so we have some native HMI we have some uh, other things like uh, location services uh, we have some, some kernel for sure so we have many components in demo and it is, it is hard to uh, say if it's like 50% of, of match or how much it's, it's up to you actually that you should provide answer to me if, if you think if, if it fits uh, for sure Nemo Mobile needs a lot of love it, there, there are a lot of bugs uh, but it can be platform for, for also for automotive uh, and now the question is to you. What are your expectations? Do you have some? Like fast boot of device, boot up in two seconds or something? No? No one. Okay. Let's move forward. Uh, I made some demo demonstration application with uh, that OBD2 uh, Bluetooth thing for ten dollars or something, and uh, uh, yeah, I was trying to make it work, and uh, I did actually fail, and I don't know why. So maybe some some expert can help me. I connected to device, paired it, make it trusted, made it trusted, connected to that uh, using rfcom command. I have created block device in dev, and. Uh, sent ATZ command uh, <laughs> using Minicom and nothing happened. When I tried on, on other device uh, like on X86 it was working but not on the phone or not on arm and I don't know why. Um, so maybe someone can help me. I, I, was, I was not so successful in that way. Uh, for a demonstration, I was trying to make GPS work in uh, and it is also not so easy. <laughs> uh, there are many combinations how you can connect it together. Uh, modern distributions are using um, GeoFlu interface uh, in version 2 and uh, it has some provider in Qt, maybe uh, most probably also in GTK, and if you if you call some some uh, it's Qt location. If you call some positioning source, uh, start start updates, you you can get data from GPS. Uh, for some reasons, we realized that GeoCode 2 doesn't work for us as as we need it. Uh, we had some some issues probably with, with Mozilla location service the GeoClue provider and uh, therefore we switched to GeoClue 1 uh, which is not good uh, thing I, I think we need to change it back to GeoClue 2 but um, it needs some, some, some time and uh, some, some love uh, and uh, as a consequence we are taking QT from, from Manjaro so it has all shared objects for all providers, so GeoClue 1 and GeoClue 2, but it prefers GeoClue 
to some, for some reasons. So if you want to do it on the device right now, you need to remove uh, user lib qt providers uh, gelclue2.so file. Then you restart device probably uh, or application which, which is using provider. And then you can get to, uh, to gelclue1. And from gelclue1 to, you need to get to GPSD or Mozilla Location Services, so MS, MLS DB provider inside. Then you will have the, the position. If you want to go from the other side, because the, the provider goes then to GPSD, then you can start GPSD and uh, uh, debug it using CGPS and you will get data. Uh, as far as I know, the GeoCoo to uh, access directly to GPS and it is a little bit easier and Mozilla Location Service should work somehow, but I haven't uh, digged into it deeply so far. Uh, okay, that was about my, my uh, proof of concept application. Uh, if you want to start develop Nemo Mobile, uh, we have pretty nice website which contains description how you can install that on, on PinePhone. It's basically, you will take the SD card and you will uh, copy image on the SD card, then you put it into PinePhone and it boots. So it's pretty easy. We have description how to install SDK. Well, it means that you will install those packages to Manjaro virtual machine and then you can compile everything. Uh, yeah, we, we have some description of, of the, our, our QT quick controls uh, because yeah, they have specific API and uh, yeah, the most, most important is that uh, you need to know the names of components uh, to be able to choose the right one. Uh, yeah, please try to contribute with, uh, with code. That is, that is like the best option for me. Uh, I was writing some, some blog posts about progress of uh, distribution. So every week, uh, sorry, every month, one blog post with news about project. Um, I, was, uh, I was adding always section bug to start with, but there are so many bugs that uh, we need to solve them first. So, so you, may, you may look into those blog posts and you will find what is not working as we need. As I said, uh, we are using Manjaro. Uh, so it is using package builds, uh, uh, package build uh, scripts to, to rebuild instead of spec files. Uh, but it is like very easy to understand if you, if you can work with RPM. Uh, it is simply bash script which contains functions and each function corresponds to two uh, section is RPMs in RPM spec file. Uh, it has some limitations but it is uh, much simpler than, than RPM I would say. Uh, if you want to start you will, you, you will probably need to go to Nemo packaging repository. It contains uh, package builds for all our 150 packages uh, so you can start if you want to debug calendar then you will start with glacier calendar repository you will see how it is built and uh, you can what dependencies is have and you can like uh, track it down to, to, to issue uh, then when you have a package you can build it locally using make package uh, or build ARM package uh, like for cross-compilation uh, and then uh, you will probably build some, some image. Uh, so build art Im ARM image will take the repository you will provide and, and will produce the image you can install on your device. Uh, there is a Git repository which is called ARM profiles and it contain list of uh, devices which are supported by Manjaro. 
Uh, we are happy if, if you contribute also uh, with something else than code. You can translate it, you can make some documentation. We are looking for some user interface uh, drafts to, to implement. So, so if you are a graphical designer, you can draw, draw something for us and we will be happy that we can try to implement that. Uh, yeah, and if you spread the information and if you find some other developer who can help with the project, uh, if you write a review of, of operating system, again, we will be happy uh, that people can uh, uh, will know about the project. Yeah, and money for living is also important, but it's like weekend project, so it's not so important. We spent money for, for those strange devices. We are buying them for those money. So more money means more devices to, to hack. <laughs> okay, uh, demo time. It boots. I'm cheating a little bit. And now we put it. <laughs> no, it's, it's a virtual machine. So the demo mobile looks like this. Uh, so you can see the task feature screen. Uh, I can go to the second screen. I have to click a gesture, third screen, and back again. Uh, we have some nice applications like Browser, which is basically oh, it's broken. <laughs> uh, so, but when you want to close the applications, you are going over the edge, same, same as Sailfish OS, and the uh, CDN. So the edge is here, and you just pull the, the application away. Uh, then we have some settings up. What I, what I have done? <laughs> I, I have probably switched the, the scheme some, somehow incorrectly. Yeah, and yeah, I have some, some automotive demo app. Nothing works. <laughs> Strange. Uh, let's try to fix the UI. things to compute like um, like uh, uh, white balance and, and those things need to be computed by software you need to control switching of resolution because when you stream video you need lower resolution to be able to store it compress it in case of uh, uh, photo you need big resolution like you want to store 10 megapixel or something like that so uh, therefore it's a difficult task and uh, this is done somehow with the camera but uh, it's not so easy to connect it to, uh, to the application. Uh, or the standard video or QT multimedia API doesn't work with that so well. So but there are there are wrappers directly to the camera and actually in the selfish OS they have camera application which works with the camera and uh, um, and 
Yeah, we are trying to, to have working uh, applications for, for phone calls and, uh, and uh, those things. So, uh, I hope this, this uh, opens the door to, to automotive usage. So we have a lot of spec which tries to be prepared for, for those advanced We have also media player and so on. Uh, and we have that for QT5, it is so far, and QT6 will be to launch. So, time for questions. We have 10 minutes for discussion. What, 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 do, you, what do you expect? What do you want? What do you, yes? <laughs> it's uh, yeah, that's a good question. Why why I am trying to use it in automotive? Um, uh, well, I know that Red Hat started recently with automotive, and uh, I wanted my talk to be accepted on DevCon. So <laughs> <laughs> so that's answer. <laughs> Uh, the question is uh, why the Sailfish OS is stacked with uh, old Qt version. Um, I think the, the answer is licensing, but it is not a question on me, it's a uh, question on, on Yola. Uh, so I, I'm not, <laughs> I, I, I don't know exact reasons, but I think the, the license in Qt 5.6 was LGPL or something and in newer QT it's changed to, to GPL or, or commercial, so the expensive one or uh, that, 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 that could be answer, but I'm not sure. Maybe they want stable environment because they have like big community of people and uh, if they migrate to new QT then everyone needs to uh, update the application which can be trouble. I'm not sure if, if anyone can hear me. <laughs> so some other questions? If no, uh, I hope that I will be... Ev oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, the, 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 question, the question is uh, uh, what is, uh, how, how do we handle security in the mobile if we use Selenux and I didn't catch all the, the technologies you mentioned. Uh, yeah, I was talking about process, separation of processes. Separation of processes, etc. So that's a good question. One of the differences, uh, Uh, one of the uh, differences uh, of Nemo Mobile right now from Sailfish OS it is that we uh, removed some, some security mechanism they have. So they have some uh, sail jail, if I remember correctly, and few others. And uh, uh, we, we are not using them, but we wanted or we, we expect to implement Selenux uh, to be closer to desktop usage, like to have Serenux based security. Uh, speaking of process separation, I don't know. Uh, uh, one one of, of things which Sailfish does is also, uh, well, it's nasty trick to reach performance. They are doing, uh, or they are launching application with lo which loads all Qt Quick components on the beginning and um, on the startup of, of uh, uh, device and then it is using shared memory to access those components 
uh, which is pretty fast, uh, but a little bit insecure. So we moved from that approach also because of Manjaro's uh, have, uh, uh, I think, f flag, the address randomization flag in GCC or uh, as default. So this, this approach is not possible with, with that flag. Uh, so the answer is we, we are trying, trying to move forward, to move closer to traditional desktop distributions. Uh, we are considering those options, but I think we are really not security experts. So it's hard to say if we are doing that correctly. And it would be great if someone who is security expert can, can tell us this should be done differently. Thank you again for a question, very good question. Go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, the, the question if is selfish OS have full disk encryption. Uh, I don't know. I think yes, they, it is. It is there, but we don't have it. We don't have it in in our system so far. But we plan it. It's one of planned features. I'm not sure how we how do we want to do the decryption. How how do we enter the the been called as as far as I remember, post market OS does that with some LVGL uh, tiny application which is in in a drum FS. I don't know how how Sergey plans to do that. Uh, okay, so if you don't have any other questions, I will be here on DevConf also tomorrow and also today. So feel free to grab me. I will try do some some mobile. Uh, stand again tomorrow, so so I will try to bring uh, my device, the, the Pine phone, with other operating systems than I had before. I hope uh, Pavel will borrow me the Librem 5 again to see other devices. And uh, yeah, uh, feel free to grab me, ask me. I, I will try to answer you. And please contribute to the mobile. Fix my bugs. I need that's working. So thank you. <laughs>